Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of greatness doing the top of this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth. In truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiyam and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Iban from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. This lesson I'm going to be going into today is all of the spirit. I don't really have a topic, but um, the spirit uh, is on me to go ahead and speak, to turn on, uh, you know, the video, epistle, and speak. You know, as the Lord say, he that believeth on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, rivers of living water. You know, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Um, roughly paraphrasing, but uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> Spirit of the Army, last night we had our fellowship and we had it over the phone, you know, because, you know, uh, we was anticipating, you know, uh, rain and a little bit of uh, abnormal weather, you know, but... Um, yeah, we was on the phone last night with the brothers chopping it up, and it was beautiful, man. You know, a lot of uh, did a did about two spiritual reads. We went through our <clears throat> Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, Second Maccabees, the sixth chapter. You know, brought out a lot of different precepts, and then we read Psalms eighty-three, and you know, brothers was chopping it up, and you know, brothers was in the spirit, man. You know, so that's why I want to take this time to the spirit power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. To exhort brothers to continue in the faith, man. You know, to uh, let brothers know to keep fighting and keep pushing. You know, and um, I'd mentioned last night too how I did a, a, a video a few days ago entitled "Ain't No Body Like This Body." You know, and we, we we was talking about it last night too, and you know, the camaraderie that the brotherhood has, man. You know, the world envy that man. You know, because the love that we have for one another. You know, as Yahweh Shai say, um, which is a commandment, man, to love one another. As a matter of fact, let me interject some scriptures as we go. I don't want to rant, you know, but um, let's try to find some scriptures at the same time. Uh, let's get, get that. This uh St. John, the 13th chapter, out about the uh, 34th verse. Right, this is red letters. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, man. It says, a new commandment I give unto you. That ye love one another as I have loved you. That ye also love one another. You see? So this is what we have to do. To love one another. The brotherhood. The Akia, man. The camaraderie that we have. The love we have toward the one another, man. It's beautiful, man. Yapa, man. The world envy that, man. Okay? Because they don't see this type of love normally in the world. Among men. You know? Of course, we got the sisters... Too, the, 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 the few sisters that believe in this truth and believe in how Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, but the camaraderie among the brotherhood, the way that we're supposed to love one another as as being in the body of our Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, him being the head, he's, he's the, 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 the shepherd, and we are, are the sheep, you know, and the love that we have toward one another, man, you know, is, um, is something that the world envies, man, because the camaraderie that we have is beautiful. You see? Verse 35, St. John chapter 13 and verse 35, it says, By this all men shall know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. You see? And, <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you man, that, that our fellowship last night was yapa, man. You know, brothers on the phone chopping it up and brothers was in the spirit, man. You know, brothers bringing out certain histories and certain things and certain precepts and you know it was just yapa man you know it was beautiful man we we was on there for almost three hours man you know we was on there for a good bit man over the phone you know and i'm telling you man <laughs> it, it, it was beautiful man so that 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 brotherly love we, we want that to continue man you see this is our hebrews chapter 13 and verse 1 it says let brotherly love 
continue. Now, like I say, I went, I went, I did a lesson a few days ago entitled uh, "Ain't No Body Like This Body," and some of these scriptures when I'm, was coming to mind right now. Some of these came on that lesson, but guess what? It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful because that's what we need love, you know. All right, that's what the scriptures say. Uh, uh, when you, uh, I, I was, how was it worded? It says uh, when you have, uh, when you love one another, uh, uh, you fulfill the law, man. You see, you have to have that love for your brother, man. You can't say you love your, you can't say you love the Most High and don't love your brother. The scriptures speak about that. How, how you, how. How can you love the Most High and don't love your brother? Because you could see your brother and you don't love him. How can you love the Most High who you can't see? Roughly paraphrasing, you see? So you can't fake this thing through, man, because the, the Most High definitely knows your heart, man. You see? You can't fake this thing. The Most High knows your thoughts. You see? So those that seek to worship the Lord, the Lord seek it, uh, uh, seek it such to worship him in truth and in and in sincerity, man, you got to come to this thing humble and meek and, and worship the Lord in truth and in sincerity, man. <laughs> That's how this thing is, man. This is not a, a thing where you could fake. You see? So the way you deal with the brotherhood, you know, you got to um, you got to deal with the brotherhood as if you're dealing with the Lord, man. You know? Because the Lord, the scriptures tell you that, man. Oh, Okay. Whatever you do unto one of these little ones is like you do it unto me, roughly paraphrasing. Meaning the Lord. So you gotta you gotta you gotta move about and, and be careful with your brothers, man. Take care of them and look after them, man. Deal with them gently, man, and prefer them. You know? Prefer them, man. Um let's see if I can find a scripture real quick. Uh one that comes to mind. All right, let me see if I can get that one which says, uh, prefer one another. I think it's one that says that. Right, kind of Romans, Romans 10 and verse, it's like it, Romans 12 and verse 10. Be kindly, affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. This is what we have to do. We got to be preferring one another, man. You see? We got to be preferring one another. Now, like I say, some of these precepts I brought out and the lesson I did a few days ago entitled, uh, there ain't nobody like this body, but guess what? It's the spirit that got me going back into this right now because last night, the fellowship that we had over the phone, I mean, I tell you, it was, it was your power, man, with the brothers, man. You know? We had a, uh, uh, we chopped it up last night, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, power, man. You know, so like I said, man, I just want to encourage brothers to, to, to continue in the faith and keep pushing and keep fighting, man. You know, we see what's going on in the world that this place is polluted. You know, Micah two and ten, arise ye in the power for this is not your rest, for it is polluted and it will destroy you even with the saw of destruction. So that's why brothers prefer to be around brothers who are like-minded, man. Okay, I opened my front door yesterday and look outside and I'm like, I'm always in the house. Like, I could have been, when I was in the world, I never used to be in the house. I would have been somewhere on the street corner with some virgin somewhere on the wall, somewhere on the, yeah, just somewhere. It wouldn't have, most likely I wouldn't have been home. <laughs> but I opened my front door yesterday looking at the weather and, I'm, and I thought to myself, I'm like, bro, I don't go nowhere. If it's not among the brotherhood, I'm not going, man. You know, I, I go to work, I come home, I might make some errands on my way home from work or whatever. I try to do everything so when I get home, I don't got to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Tawadi Bashimi Awashai for giving me the eyes out, for opening my eyes to see. You know, for bringing, uh, uh, taking me out of darkness and bring, bringing me in this marvelous light. As the scriptures say, we ought to show forth the praise. And that's what I'm doing, man, showing forth the praise. Should have spread on Pavi Bashimi Awashai. You see? Let me, as a matter of fact, let me get that scripture because that's one of my favorite scriptures also that we are to show forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Where is that again? That's, uh, I think it's First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Let's see if we can grab that real quick, man. First Peter's, uh, 
First Peter chapter 2. This is First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah, the Lord call us, you know, those of us that are in this truth, you know, and we we striving, you know, giving our, 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 our diligence, you know, to make our calling and election sure, you know, we ain't trying to be around people like that, man. We around the Akiyam, the brotherhood. You know, we we try to we we inside the um the secret place of the Most High, man. The scriptures. You know, once we once I'm confident. Once I get in the scriptures, I start to read. The scripture tell you Psalms 91, man. He that abide in the secret place of the Most High should abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So like a he that dwell it. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where's the secret place? These scriptures, man. Revelation 1 and 3 blesses the man that read and keep those, uh, uh, the prophecies that are written therein. Okay? For the, for, for the time is at hand, man. You see? The Lord said to give tendency to read until I come. Till I come, give ten tendency to reading, man. You see? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Isaiah 34 and 16. This book, man. All right, Joshua 1 and 8, it tells you, you know, this is going to bring you to success, man. Then you're going to have good success by being in this book, man, meditating in this book. You see, the scriptures tell you, say, to look for the old path, look for the old way. Okay, when you go to the Apocrypha and you go to Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach, the 39th chapter, all right, what it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and be occupied in prophecies, man. This is what you're going to do. Be occupied in prophecies because, you know, uh, Numbers 33, Salakia, Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see? The scriptures tell you wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 28. The Most High loves none than him who dwells with wisdom, man. Okay? And the scripture tell you, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding, man. You see? So, the times that we're in right now, you, you, you got to be able to, to um, you got to be able to measure. Measure the time to see where you're at through prophecy, man. Okay, 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, measure the time diligently within itself. And when you see part of the sign come to pass, okay, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. So, hey man, it's not about you being to college and you got a bachelor's, you got an MBA and all these different things. The most I, uh, the most I say he chose the base things of this world, man, okay, to confound the things that are, okay, to bring them to not, man, using, using base things, man, the little man, the small guy. So it's not about your college degree. It's not about that, man. Your, your president, uh, 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 Roosevelt, okay, he told you that uh, 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 a thorough knowledge of the scriptures is better than any college education, man. You see? So, hey, at the end of the day, brothers, keep pushing, keep fighting, man. Keep uh, 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 praising the Lord. Keep seeking Him, you know. Keep doing the work and the will of the Lord and stay focused, man, you know. So, I just want to exhort brothers through the spirit and power. You have about me, I was shy. Last night, once again, we had a beautiful fellowship last night in the full, man. And there ain't nobody like this body, man. And the Spirit brought me back to this lesson, man. Okay? So, and I just really decided to turn it on and see where the Spirit would lead me, you know? I needed a lesson. But, hey, call the Lord. I'm like, y'all, Bashim, I was shy, man. You know? To why y'all, Bashim, I was shy for putting the Spirit on me to do this lesson. So, once again, you know, keep pushing, keep fighting, man. You know, those who love the apparent of Yahweh, Bashim, I was shy, man. You see, y'all was shy. You understand? So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, you were edified. Y'all was out of here, man. Shalom.